Well, hey everyone, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the Oakley Kato sunglasses. But first off, laying today's video sponsor, our own website, shadereviewstore.com, the absolute best place to buy designer sunglasses, just like these up to 80% off the original MSRP. Again, the website there is shadereviewstore.com. Check it out. So usually right about now is when I pop these frames on face and talk about the dimensions, but these do not have traditional sunglass dimensions to them. So they don't have a sunglass lens size and a bridge width to them. These are measured with just a singular front design size, uh, which is 132 millimeters. And as of filming this video, Oakley only produces these in the one standard size, which again is 132 millimeters. Uh, now, as far as the styling of these frames go, these are definitely out there. I don't think I've reviewed anything nearly as crazy and as bold as these frames. Uh, probably the biggest, most shocking part is actually the nose rest here, how they actually incorporate the nose rest into the uh, Palmer lens. And that definitely adds a very unique styling to them. Now, it's not actually kind of fully one piece. It appears to me that you can actually see lines uh, where they uh, actually took a separate piece of polymer for the nose rest and then kind of like blended it into the frame. But you definitely can see those lines here on this pair of sunglasses. So keep that in mind. Uh, it still looks really good in with the mirror. You really can't tell uh, there are those lines, but if you look on the inside, you definitely can. So it's not technically a single uh, sheet of a uh, polymer lens. It's actually kind of a couple here uh, to pull this design off because polymer, of course, is not that flexible uh, to be able to make this in one lens. Uh, one singular lens, I should say. Now these frames are really designed for cyclists and people who need a really good full wraparound coverage pair of frames uh, for sports like that. Uh, they're not really meant for the average everyday person to be wearing, you know, on Hollywood Boulevard or something like that. Of course, there's nothing that says you can't, it's just you're gonna get a lot of looks and they definitely look very uh, interesting. Now, of course, these frames are designed to be aerodynamic and extremely comfortable uh, when on a bicycle. And they're also going to add performance areas as well to help with, you know, rock chips or anything like that. Uh, the lenses are definitely impact resistant as well. And they do also kind of give off Frozone uh, vibes, which is kind of interesting. But yeah, the styling here is definitely very interesting, but they are very practical uh, as well, which is important if you're wearing a pair of sunglasses uh, this wild. You need practicality as well, of course. Now, Oakley says the Kato is engineered to push the boundaries of performance with a purpose-built design that conforms to the contours of the face for a seamless look. And with its progressive disruptive design, the frameless architecture, innovative tilt function, and multiple nose pads create a customized fit Paired with their Prism lens technology, the Kato empowers athletes for optimized coverage and an expanded field of view. So that's a lot to unpack here, but basically these frames are gonna be great for performance uh, reasons like we said earlier. They do have customized nose rest, so you can add a different nose rest to you know fit your face really good. Now these frames feature Oakley's new rake system, which allows you to adjust the tilt of these frames on the face. So it's super easy, all you do is you kind of put your fingernail uh, through the little plastic piece here uh, with the arrow underneath. It's gonna pop out just like that, and then you can actually adjust the angle here uh, before you place it back in and that actually is going to make a huge difference as far as the angle goes so here's one side that i adjusted at the max up and now let me go ahead and adjust the max down on the other side uh, to give you guys a quick little comparison here and here we can see they are completely uh, different from each other so you do have a decent amount of a degree where you can actually change and adjust these so this is going to allow you to adjust these and make them sit flat on the face or change change your angle as well, which is definitely important for cyclists. And once you're done with the adjustment, all you do is you just simply press it back in place and it's going to snap. And then once it snaps, you can just feel it uh, pop back in and then you are good to go. And they're not going to be able to adjust unless you pop it back out. Now, as far as the lens quality goes, these offer Oakley's prism lenses and the optical clarity of these is really, really good. The exact colorway that I have on in today's video have Oakley's prism 24 karat uh, mirrored lenses and then a polished black frame. And this of course is my favorite colorway of all the colors that they make. I just think it looks really, really cool. 
cool. However, Oakley does produce these in a ton of other really great looking lens options as well. Now, as far as weight goes, these frames are extremely lightweight, coming in at only 33 grams. So you can wear these all day long without any discomfort. And 33 grams is extremely lightweight considering how big and bulky this pair of frames is on the face. It's really incredible that they're able to get them down this uh, low. So yeah, you can wear these all day long without any discomfort, which is really important with a pair of sunglasses like these. Now, if we take a closer look at some of the fine details of these frames, we can see a little Oakley logo here in the middle, kind of where the bridge typically would be on the frames. And then we can also see a little prism logo kind of etched into the lens there. Then if we move down the outside temples, we can see the little Oakley O and then the O here on the rake system adjustment. And then moving over to the outside left temple, we can kind of see the same Oakley O logo and then the O on the rake system adjustment. Uh, so uh, just really interesting styling here. And there actually is even a hole that goes through uh, the polymer frame, which is kind of interesting as well. They also do have Oakley's unobtainium ear rests and these ear rests actually get stickier uh, the more you perspirate which is important as well and that goes uh, for these nose rests so very very practical and then if we take a look here at the inner right temple we can see they say usa assembled because these are assembled in the usa and then we can also see they say uh, oakley kato here on the unobtainium ear rests uh, they're kind of for authentication purposes there's also two little oakley o logos here on both the bottom insides of these frames. And if we also take a close look near the uh, left hinge, we can see the uh, little Luxottica serial number and uh, model information there. Now, as far as fakes go, I don't think we're gonna be seeing any fake versions of these frames because they're just so, so complicated uh, to produce every single pair. So I don't think it's gonna be worth it for someone in another country uh, to develop a pair of these frames, or I should say to clone a pair of these frames and then develop all the manufacturing process uh, that would be entailed to create a pair of these sunglasses I think it's far too complex so you know if you do see a fake one it's gonna be very obvious that it's fake because they just can't copy all the innovation on these frames so if you find a pair for a cheap price uh, don't be afraid to pick it up it's most likely not going to be fake but of course you do want to make sure that they do a block 100 of uva and uv rays that's the most important thing and if you don't have a uv tester i would just recommend buying them directly from oku's website and i will leave a link in the description down below directly to their website where you can pick a pair of these sunglasses for yourself and as far as pricing goes these are going to come in at 298 dollars so definitely a very expensive pair of sunglasses but again this is not an easy pair of sunglasses to produce uh, that is for sure sure it is very very complicated uh, to make all of this and design all of it and put it all together in a package so i definitely understand the very high price tag now these frames also all ship in a nice hard shell case where the lenses actually fit perfectly into now probably the thing that i hate most about these frames is the nose rest they are very comfortable but you totally can see them within the line of vision uh, when you're wearing these sunglasses on the face with the original uh, nose rest you can see this kind of black border here that says up against the frame and when you put these frames on the face you literally can see that border and i absolutely hate it actually almost makes me a little bit dizzy it is really 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 annoying and uh, if this was my own pair of sunglasses it's not bradley sent me out these but yeah if this is my own pair of sunglasses i totally would just cut this border off here and uh, just completely remove it because it is totally unnecessary in my opinion and it does kind of block the field of view uh, right there around the nose and I shouldn't say it blocks the field of view it just it just you can kind of see a black spot kind of in your vision and it's just really really annoying so that's definitely my biggest complaint about these frames but overall this is just a really bold really striking pair of sunglasses and if you're into cycling this definitely might be a very good pair uh, for you to want to consider picking up and it's it's gonna do the job really good uh, once you fix that nose rest. And if you have a, a bigger nose or a smaller nose or nose different than mine, that might not affect you as much as it does me, but it is certainly annoying in my opinion. Now, personally, these frames are not for me. I do not love the look and I'm not a professional cyclist, uh, so I'm not going to pick a pair of these frames for myself. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give me a big thumbs up below. And of course, make sure to hit that subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to our YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.